Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahoka Koko no Retose season 2 episode number 4. In the previous episode we got a kind of like a clash between Tatsuya and Sirius which is like Angelina and uh, I was like looking forward to this episode. Uh, the reason is because obviously like Tatsuya and Sirius are going to clash. And Tatsu has like kind of like negated her uh, disguise that she was keeping, and uh, like and like it like he like saw him her now like that is that is serious is Angelina he saw that, and he uh, I'm I, I was I'm guessing that he had this kind of like an inkling to it, but it's official that uh, Sirius is Angelina uh, Angelina, and Tatsu has got to see it like uh, in front of his eyes. So I'm look like I'm quite looking forward to like how will like Angelina react to this and will they like have a fight and if they like go like head to head uh, against each other like both of them are extremely strong and like I would like to see like how a uh, like high level battle would actually like go down like that is like a li a real like interesting thing that is probably going to happen if they like fight against each other so I'm quite excited. Let's see what happens in this episode because, yeah, <laughs> like uh, I really want to see more of Tasia's like powers, like he, like the, the the powers that he uses and like that he whips out are like so interesting and intriguing and so overpowered. Like it's amazing. Like overpowered protagonists are like uh, there should be more overpowered protagonists in my opinion. Like. <laughs> Like it's a joy watching them like uh, just like sweeping uh, the floor with the enemy and like defeating uh, like people one after the other like it's a joy to see them doing that so yeah uh, so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with episode number four of Mahoka Koko no Retose season two all right I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference let's get started Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. And there it is. Yes. Yeah, like the personality is a lot different as well. Like. That won't work. <laughs> God damn, Tatsuya. Um. Okay. Damn. Okay. So he was using parade. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. My God. What the hell? Is that a flashbang? Yup. <laughs> My God, that is like always ready. <laughs> oh boy. Now, the question is, like, what about the guy they were, like, trying to capture? Like, amongst all of this confusion, he must have, like, bailed. <laughs> My god. <laughs> the hell, something's in my... My god, this this song is amazing. Like obviously it's it's like sung by Asuka, so it's definitely like amazing. But still like
Okay. All right. <laughs> what? What's that deceleration? Oh, he's okay. So he's like recovering himself. Oh my god, damn. That was more like, oh my. Well, game over, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah, like, that was. <laughs> Okay. Oh, no vital points. Yes. <laughs> yes. My god, you're forgetting who this this guy is. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about this. I was saying that like the actual guy failed. Well, it's confirmed. <laughs> oh no. Well. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well. Mm, I don't think anyone can eliminate Tatsuya, like... <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. Oh, Miyuki is here. Uh, okay. <clears throat> oh! Ninja Sensei is here. Well, there are three of the most powerful, like, people here against Lina, so. And they are extremely powerful. Hmm. Okay. Okay, calm down. Oh my god, this is like I had like I I'm I'm sure Tasu could have handled her, but like Hmm. 
<laughs> what he she had a taser or something? Hmm. Okay, his name is Yakumo Koko Noe, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> and here we go. What's he doing? Oh. <laughs> well. Oh, is this like... Oh, I knew like Miyuki did this to Tasha, like unlocking his seal, but it returns your control. So are they both like like I knew Tasha was like hiding his power level, and like uh, Miyuki did that. <laughs> to like unlock that but i didn't know that it, it it like it was the same for miyuki as well okay my god okay okay Oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> what the? Mm. About mo molecule molecular divide. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Wait, Tasha didn't say anything to her. My God, okay, well. Oh boy, okay, well. Wow, my god, what the hell? Ah, uh. okay, let's see. Wait, what? Wait, what happened? Like, were they like going out of control or something? What? <laughs> My god, this guy. Oh. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> uh. 
Okay. Well, that's better than nothing, I guess. Okay. Well. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, but something happened yesterday, so... <laughs> well, Tasia is an exception, so... You should not count that. Oh, and Miyuki as well. Hmm. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, that girl. <coughs> oh. The faces she makes, like... <laughs> oh. What is this? Like... Oh. Um, who the hell are you? Parasite up here. Third dimension of oh. Oh. What? How can a black hole? Eh? Oh, the, uh, he called them as well. And he's here. Yeah, they're related to the like vampire incident. So must be something about that. Yeah, passed in the capture. Okay, well. Oh! Okay, so Tasso had a like... Uh, 
another plan to capture him. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, try to capture them, I guess. Yeah. Oh, so like Tass is saying like you can do whatever you want. Like he gave them a like means to capture them and now they can do whatever they want. <laughs> so it is your guys decision. <laughs> well, that's a clever like thing he did. Oh, this is blaming him. Yeah, like, like he like did not have emotions, but like, yeah, but the only thing that he like. Cared for was like Mewki only, but now like he is like considering every each and every one of them, like all of the friends. Exactly, this is what I'm talking about. Like that's a big deal, but that's yeah. Okay. Well, well, <laughs> it went just as I expected. Like, obviously, but uh, I thought like we were probably going to have like a Tasse versus um Angelina fight, but like that did not happen. We're probably going to get it later on. I don't know.
The ending song is quite nice as well. The opening and the ending, both of the songs are quite good. Like, uh, Mahaka had always like given like amazing uh, like openings and ending songs. Season one, season uh, yeah, season one like it had two openings, two web endings. Four of them were amazing. Okay, so that was the end. Okay, guys, I'll be back just a sec. Okay, guys, I'm back. And okay, so let's talk about this episode. Um, first of all, uh, we got to see <coughs> kind of a little fight between Angelina and uh, Tasuya. And obviously, Tasuya was extremely like powerful. Like his like abilities and everything are like as always OP. And <laughs> Like one thing that uh, kind of like uh, what can I say that he did like that was a rash thing he did like he like used it kind of I think that was not a flashbang and that was something different like he tossed it up in the air and it like like exploded and there were like sharpness or like some things coming out of it and he himself got injured but he was like constantly uh, continuously using self repair that's why he like got out unscathed but like that was like a rash kind of thing he did just so that he can like um like uh like stop uh, angelina and yeah like even though like uh he like yeah but this is tasia we're talking about like he has like almost died and came back to life like and there's nothing he can't like do but <laughs> yeah and <laughs> like here it is like uh angelina like she was so muki uh that's when a few of them like know the real identity of uh, angelina now <laughs> i'm like during the fight like i was a little bit concerned about the fight between muki and uh, angelina because obviously like even though muki is pretty powerful uh muki I don't know like I there is like definitely a uh, like power level gap between Tasuya and Miyuki and I was concerned about that because as we've seen uh, Angelina is extremely powerful and I like we still don't know if like the amount of power he showed today she showed today uh, against uh, Miyuki is the full power or not we still don't know uh, it might be that she has been like uh, hiding his her power but uh, because like she is like with the commander of stars so i'm guessing like uh she is probably like hiding some of her power level and i don't know like i'm just guessing anyways so i was like that was the reason why i was a bit concerned and if it was like tasia versus um angelina it wouldn't have been of no concern like we all know who's going to win <laughs> and so but yeah like uh we s still saw like uh her struggling to like uh when she was like going against miyuki so miyuki is extremely strong as well we already knew that but like uh up until now i don't think we had any kind of like uh like clear cut um like this like uh confirmation how much strong miyuki is like we uh, did we see her fight before like against uh some like strong enemy no she like uh in, as far as i can remember in season one as well, also like she fought with like she fought but uh they were like mostly like uh like normal terrorists and all of them but we've never seen uh, her uh, like go against someone extremely powerful for example uh like atasio went against cardinal george and uh what was his name uh the crimson prince uh both of them and they were like extremely strong and like like that like that type of enemy i don't think miyuki had ever faced before or am i like not remembering it anyways so yeah like i like at least to me i have not gotten a like clear confirmation of how much strong miyuki is i know that she's strong she's extremely strong but how much is it 
like i like i did not know that so that was the um, uh, like main reason why i was a bit concerned but <clears throat> like uh after seeing the battle uh, i can probably like uh like i can think like miyuki can probably like handle her own like uh <laughs> like they were like whipping out some like extremely strong techniques like all of this musfilheim and like niflheim all of those like god damn it <laughs> like they were like uh, like going to like destroy the whole place <laughs> But yeah, so anyways, and uh, like they had the little fight and after that, uh, and then another thing we see here is like, uh, what was her name? Uh, Shizuka, wasn't it? Or Shizuku, what was her name? Just a sec, let me check it out. Uh, the, the guy is calling her Tia, I forgot her name. Anyways, uh, you can understand the... Uh, like uh, the girl who like always uh, is with Honoka, that girl who has like gone to uh, like uh, transfer, uh, like has transferred for a few months. Uh, yeah, uh, who was like in that fancy place with all of the guests and all. And the guy accompanying him, the blonde haired guy with like wavy hair. Now, I'm going to say here or something like these type of characters, like, like who are like all like uh, like prim proper with blonde hair and a, a haircut especially like that with like soft mannered speech and all of this thing well mannered they are usually like <laughs> they're like usually the bad characters like uh, like one of the enemy characters like we've already always seen in a lot of animes like these type of characters like when i saw him in the opening like he was shown in the opening and he was like smiling a little bit of evil <laughs> laughter so i don't know like the way he talks and like her his whole character design it's most suspicious to me i don't know i might be completely wrong but i think he might be someone um that is going to like bring trouble later on <laughs> i don't know i might completely be wrong it might be something that like, 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 I've seen a lot of animes where, like, a character like this is always, it, it turns out it's a bad guy. Like, these type of character, Freeman proper character with, like, white suit, blonde hair, extremely well-mannered. <laughs> so, I don't know, like, this might be some, uh, like, a uh, completely, like, false alarm, but still, I'm suspicious of him. And we'll probably see if, like, uh, my suspicion is correct or not in the future episodes, we'll probably get to see and okay and then like tasuya made a move like uh like he like uh so yeah here, here's another thing like i was saying this before like when sirius and tasuya were like fighting i was saying that like the guy they were supposed to capture he ran away so what the like like so what was the point of that so here it is like tasuya did not like uh like uh what can i say let him go scot-free like he i think implanted a gps kind of thing uh when he like shot him so yeah so okay like so <laughs> that's i had like covered uh, that as well so like he was prepared in all aspects and uh, like as expected of that's yeah so <laughs> yeah so like uh, here like the next thing that he did like i'm guessing like so he like uh called uh uh, Erika, uh, Mi Mikiko, uh, Saigusa and Jumonji, all of them, and gave them uh, the like GPS. What can I say? The the way to capture the guy, like uh, the GPS thing that he like implanted in it, the transceiver. I'm guessing. <clears throat> and then he told them that, like, so basically the, the thing he did is like he gave them the means to capture the guy and said that you can do whatever you want like i've given you the way to capture that guy now it's up to you so <laughs> now like they'll probably like go and try to capture that guy and we'll see and uh, that says also i'm guessing has some other kind of plans like uh he like he seemed pretty pissed by the thing that happened with leo and as miyuki said that previously this would have been what can i say like he wouldn't have even like thought like this uh, like in season one uh, we saw him like only like having this like straight kind of feelings towards miyuki that's it like miyuki was the only thing that he cared about 
but like he has like definitely like changed in this season and he's like uh, calling them friends and saying stuff like uh like my friends has been injured so i can't like sit down doing nothing stuff like these so he's changed and that is good like um like he said in season one like i do not have emotions and that is also there's also a reason behind that because like he is extremely powerful because of all of the like uh gram demolition and all of the like high level uh powers he has like regenerating all of those stuff uh that was like the compensation he had to pay for all of those powers like his emotions so like the only thing that can like that he has is like the emotions towards Miyuki. that's it so yeah like i don't know like uh, another thing i'm like a bit concerned about is like if like uh, the, if the, the reason for him not having emotions was like his powers so what happens if he like gets his emotions back like will his powers get like weaker i don't know like like uh, the space for his emotions were like i'm guessing it like that in simple terms i'm guessing like the space that uh, his emotions had were like switched out with his powers so that is why like he did not have like his emotions so if like he starts gaining emotions like will his power reduce because of that i don't know that's just something that i thought uh that might not be the case at all and i think that is not the case like it might it is i think it is something like completely different and like, it is not as simple as like emotions equal to like getting weaker or getting weaker uh, getting stronger equal to less emotions that's not something like that something as simple as that uh, i think there's like some kind of more complex process <coughs> anyways and another thing we got to know is like uh, the black hole experiment as they were saying like uh, maybe that was the reason why somehow like the parasites came in and yeah and uh, yeah, that was this episode. Uh, this episode was mainly focused around the fight between uh, Tatsuya uh, Lina and Miyuki Lina. And that was like an amazing fight. The an animations and everything were extremely well done. And like the power level that they showed, like Miyuki and uh, Lina. Like, god damn it. Like, that was. <laughs> like, one, like, in one side it was like lightning and everything, and one side it was like uh, all like eyes and everything. Like, Miyuki and uh, Lina. And. <laughs> That's why I had to like interfere to stop it, the whole thing. Uh, like uh, I'm guessing like they would have probably like lost control of their power and like somehow like people would have gotten hurt if that's why I wouldn't have stopped it. So yeah. And uh, yeah, and <laughs> like as Lena said, like she has been like not able to keep her identity at all which is extremely like uh, what can i say uh, something that i expected her to do because like she does not seem like a, like a girl who would be able to keep a secret but still she she like had kept a secret all all this long, time along but what can you do like taswa is like extremely intelligent and like <laughs> uh, like you, you can fool taswa like <laughs> okay yeah so yeah that was this episode uh that was an enjoyable episode we got some good like um like head-to-head -head battle between uh that's uh, angelina and uh, miyuki angelina oh another thing like which i was like a bit um, surprised about is the like the this in the forehead thing like we've already already seen like whenever like that's went to like some kind of like extremely like strong battle or something going to towards a fight Miyuki did that to I'm guessing like uh, unlock his powers or something like that but I did not know that Miyuki had like a seal like that within her as well like why would like Tatsuya do that like he said that I like gave control to your magic to you so like I did not like expect that at all and I did not even know that Miyuki had some kind of like the same thing which Tatsuya had like uh, I'm guessing like that is some kind lacks like some kind of a seal and like kissing the forehead like somehow like unleashes that seal like unlocks the seal so that they can use her full powers so yeah that was like a surprise to me like I did not expect that at all 
so so yeah guys that was this episode that was episode number four of mahoka koko no retose season two uh, that was an enjoyable episode and if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button if you're new here or you haven't subscribed please be sure to do so and uh, comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share about this episode or anything in general i'll be sure to check them out and uh, yes i'll be back with a new mauka koko no reto say season 2 episode next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day